Hi there everyone, Lori Baracco here, and I'd love to share with you my predictions for this week, the week of August 23rd, 2020. And I am using my Gilded Royale Tarot this week by Ciro Marchetti. Alrighty, let's see what we've got here for the collective. And some weeks the collective message may resonate, and some weeks it may not. Hopefully this week there are some tidbits that Spirit brings through that will resonate for you. Okay, so it looks like the message has to do with abundance. And we know this as true, but, but we don't always believe it, right? It's like we know it's true, but do we really, sometimes we don't quite feel comfortable in that truth. The When we're feeling philosophical, when we're in our higher states of higher consciousness, we know that money isn't everything. Yet, if you follow your passion, the abundance will follow. If you follow your passion, if you're doing what you love, that your financial needs, needs will be taken care of eventually, as long as you're proactive, as long as you're um, uh, strategizing, uh, mapping things out, being uh, mature and adult, it all will work out, right? So a lot of times we have these financial goals as that's my goal. That's the end point. That's the main thing I want to focus on. But what if we shifted gears a little and we we had our passions and our and our goals and our interests and what we um, what we stand up for as our goal? then that will help us be in alignment and will raise our consciousness to be in alignment with those financial needs and goals, those achievements. So this week may not be the week to focus on the big money, right? So we have the 10 of pentacles reversed. So this week spirit says, let's put those money goals to the side for this week. Okay. And let's focus on what you love, what you really love and what are you passionate about? And what are you really good at? And then we're going to temper those goals. We're going to take them and we're going to make some, we're going to create some alchemy here with your love and your excitement and your optimism. And that is going to help you with some of these goals coming up in the near future, right? So that 10 of pentacles reversed spirit says not this week it's not about money this week this week it's more about your king of cups who is mature this isn't a this is a mature individual who has balance who's not often triggered who understands and has empathy for others for self has created healthy boundaries right is also not one who um, needs to please others, right? I don't, I don't overextend myself with trying to be a pleaser. And I'm not one who contracts and holds back from others because I'm, I'm angry with them, right? So this is a mature person. Also, we have the temperance card and temperance is taking all of these gifts and these passions and, and doing something with them. It's like having a recipe, right? With all of these ingredients, how are you, what are you going to make with that, right? So say if you're a writer and then also you are an oracle and say that you're also a painter and what if you're really great at motivating people? These are all of your ingredients. What are you going to create? How is that going to look? That You're going to temper that and, um, and you're going to temper that. And as you temper that, that raises your vibration. It helps bring in personal fulfillment and you just feel really good, right? When we're doing things that we love, we just feel really good. People can definitely see that light and it attracts people to us. Sometimes, yes, the light attracts darkness, but we're going to create those healthy boundaries. You know why? Because we've got this king of cups. He knows better. He is mature and he knows how to handle situations like that. All right. So remember, this week, it's not all about money goals. Let's focus on what we are good at, what we're passionate about, and let's create some alchemy. Alrighty, I'm Lori Baracco. I look forward to seeing you soon. Namaste.